Thank you, Miss Raleigh. To introduce our next laureate, please welcome sixth graders Chelsea Murdoch and Donovan Pitts. Hey, Donovan. Great game tonight. Thanks, Chelsea. You look like our number one fan. I sure am. This must have been your best game all season. You look like a young Hank Aaron out there tonight. Thanks. Luckily, I have a great coach and role model who has helped me on and off the field. I'm looking for a coach to help me learn the trumpet. Ba da ba ba da ba. But it sounds like you have more of a mentor. Exactly. Having someone who supports you and pushes you towards your goals is important. What has your mentor taught you? My mentor and our next laureate have taught me a lot about self-confidence, mental strength, and perseverance. He says that what separates good players from champions. So using his advice, it sounds like you're going to the major leagues. Well, I know. I'll be taking my best swing when I have the chance. Our next laureate had the courage to take his best swing when presented with opportunity, and now he plays on a global business stage. Please join me in watching the video of our next laureate, Mr. Justin P. Christian. He's really enthusiastic, he's bright, um, and he's willing to go for an opportunity. He has an incredibly successful company, but you never hear him lead with, um, that's not who he is, he's not defined by that. He's just a really outgoing, great guy, uh, very generous. This is my son, Justin. To know him is to love him. Justin Christian runs Indiana's largest consulting firm and the largest minority business enterprise. The transplanted Manhattanite started BC Forward in 1998 after leaving a successful job at Eli Lilly and Company. Why do you want to stop and open a business? He said, it's because I went to one of the best universities in the world. It's because I learned how to become an entrepreneur and I've learned how to work for a great business. So why can't I do that for myself? It was that level of risk taking and determination that has turned BC Forward into an industry leader. I would say Justin's an entrepreneur at heart. I mean, he's you know, say, hey, I got an idea. He's like, yeah, let's go for it. And that's, that's always been fun. And we're a global company because of that. But running a global tech company wasn't always on Justin's mind. Justin got started in the world of computers, probably by accident, because he wanted to be a jazz trumpet player. But he didn't have the right armature to play trumpet. So he kind of ventured off uh, when he got to DePaul in another area, in computers. Because Justin was one of my first students at the Paw, he really, in a lot of ways, set the, the bar. And the thing that I really remember about Justin is this just ability to keep moving forward toward goals, um, even when things don't go perfectly the first time. He's founder of BC Forward. He's active in a lot of boards and, and a lot of philanthropic uh, things across the city. But again, he doesn't talk about it a lot. Justin is the 2017 chair of the 500 Festival and has served on the festival's board for the last seven years. He has also served on several boards around Indianapolis, including the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, Goodwill of Central Indiana, the Indiana Gaming Commission, the Indianapolis Bond Bank, Central Indiana Corporate Partnership, and currently sits on the Board of Trustees at DePaul University. He has been a great mentor for students, particularly students of color. He set up a scholarship with the United Negro College Fund, and he and his wife, Darianne, have just been uh, fantastic contributors to a new center, the Justin and Darianne Christian Center for Diversity and Inclusion that will be opening in the fall. What makes him deserving is looking beyond just the ability to write a check. Kids being able to know that things are possible, that dreams are possible, and specifically if you are a kid where you don't see people that look like you achieve the degree of success that Justin has. That alone just helps kids connect with the fact that dreams do come true and things are possible. When I think about Justin as an inspiration to others, the commitment for paying it forward, that should be of inspiration to kids because to me it conveys that it's not always about you, it, it's about how you can look to help other people. Justin is dad first, businessman second, 
and a heck of a friend. I would say he is dependable, honest, forthright, dedicated to his family, he's dedicated to his community. Those are the things I would say in my heart, but I wouldn't say it out loud because it would kind of embarrass him to some degree. Dad, Dad, come on. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Justin P. Christian. Awesome introduction. Thank you. Mark Carnacy is a business executive who 32 years ago volunteered his time through junior achievement and visited my sixth grade class in New York City. He ended his last session with us that year by giving all us kids his IBM business card and asking that we stay in touch. Now I never saw Mark Carnacy again, nor did I remain in contact with him as he had offered. But I wish I would have stayed connected to Mark because I would thank him tonight. I would thank him for having a lasting impact on my life. You see, I don't have a photographic memory. In fact, I'm the type of person who forgets the names of people that I met yesterday. However, when I learned about the recognition that I was receiving tonight, Mark Carnacy's name popped into my mind instantly. And if remembering the name and the messages of a junior achievement volunteer that you have not seen in 30 years is not a great example of how your organization is impacting the lives of children, then I don't know what is. Junior Achievement was a positive influence on kids when it was founded 100 years ago. It was impacting kids 35 years ago when it impacted my life. And it's doing so much more here in Indianapolis today. Thank you, Junior Achievement. You planted a seed in my life, and tonight you get to see the fruit of your labor. Junior Achievement continues to motivate me, even here at 43 years of age. Jennifer Burke and her team at Junior Achievement have granted me the audacity to think that with continued hard work and the Lord's grace, my name can be deserving of Hall of Fame honors alongside of Indiana icons like Braley, Gutwine, and Lucas. Mother Teresa once said, I can do things that you cannot, and you can do things that I cannot, and together we can do great things. Teamwork, putting the best team on the field, checking egos at the door, respecting the beauty of our differences, and recognizing the power of our collective strengths. These are standards that we adopted very early on at BC Forward. Teamwork. I stand here tonight representing an awesome BC Forward team that executes their roles with a combination of professionalism, tenacity, and class that humbles me daily. My nearly 5,000 BC Forward team members provide services to Fortune 100 companies throughout the Americas, Europe, Asia. But I will never forget one of our first customers a small non-for-profit located in Chicago. They needed some help, and boy, did we need a contract. <laughs> Our company was a small upstart with four to five employees. And as the CEO of the company, I didn't want to send the wrong message by attending the meeting myself. 
So my wife, Darianne, would attend the meeting on my behalf. She would use her maiden name to disguise that we were married. <laughs> that day, Darianne closed one of our first deals. <laughs> Darianne, the pinch hitter. Now, those of you who know me, and everybody in here knows now that I really love baseball. <laughs> but I have always stood in awe of the pinch hitter. You see, this is the team member that, for the benefit of the organization, forgoes the fame that comes along with playing the game every day. The pinch hitter, many times, very capable of believing a superstar in their own right, but they set aside the need for individual statistics for the sake of the team. While I love the pinch hitter for all these reasons, the pinch hitter's true greatness lies in the fact that he or she knows how to deliver in the pinch or in the clutch. When a team has its back against the wall and they need a hit, they put their fate in the bat of the pinch hitter. Now, my wife inspires me to be the best father and husband that I can be. And like a true great pinch hitter, is always there for me in the clutch. She has never hesitated to step up to the plate when necessary. So to my wife, Darianne, I say, our four daughters, Ellington, Sutton, Layton, and Channing, are the grand slam of our lives. And research shows that you only need one grand slam to make it into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> I've always personally believed that to be a legitimate Hall of Famer, you have to have at least one championship under your belt. What we have accomplished professionally with our BC Forward team members is nothing short of amazing. However, my partnership with you, Darianne, is my World Series, my Super Bowl, and my Stanley Cup all wrapped into one. Thank you for all the sacrifices that you have made to get us here. So on behalf of my family and BC Forward, I gratefully accept tonight's honor with one condition, that you allow us to be of service to the Junior Achievement family and help to plant seeds of inspiration within the community's children, just as you did in my life 32 years ago. Thank you.